Good morning, everybody. Uh, in today's presentation, we will talk about how to design a people flow with the human tasks. Uh, the whole purpose of this is uh, this exercise is define a people flow, and uh, uh, the input to the people flow will be a customer record. And in the customer record, we will check if the customer credit rating is greater than more than 450, then approve the customer automatically. Otherwise, it required a uh, human intervention whether to approve the customer or not so for that i have added the human task flow in my people process so let's begin with this is how the my people flow looks like um, the flow is already designed i have already designed this flow and in today's exercise we will talk about how uh, what are the components involved and how we can design this so this is uh, my the whole exercise uh, I have a people flow I have a, my input uh, web service I have a human task flow and apart from that we have a one event activity but we are not talking about this event activity into this exercise so we talk about the people flow and human task to begin with first of all create a new project the people project and uh, in the people project design make sure that you expose uh, the people as a soap service so let me explain let me tell you what exactly i'm talking about so uh, this is uh, let's say you drag a people process in your component lane and then expose as, as a soap service so this is how when you start the people project but I'm not taking the input as the default input rather than my input to the people flow is looks like something like this so my input is a customer record so let's go back to our uh, exercise so let's say so so this is my flow so to begin the flow drag the people process in your component plane and once you once it is done just uh, from your component plane, drag the human tasks and connect the people flow with your human tasks. So we have a, our people flow, input to the people flow is a customer record and we have human tasks. Double click on the human task and we have a properties of the human task. So in the properties of the human task, go to the general tab, define the title, description, outcome, priorities and the owner. So let me explain one by one. So to uh, assign the title, just double click, double click here and you have a dialog expression builder open. In the expression builder, select the task and from the payload, select your payload. I have a name, address, city, state for the customer in the payload. So I just select the name and then press OK. And then I give a description and then in the outcomes, I press the search button and I have all the outcomes available. In my, my exercise, I want to approve or reject the customer if the credit score is less than 450 based on case by case. So outcome for me is approve and reject. So once, uh, so I select approve and reject and press OK. And now go to the priority, just make it a three and then in the owner again you just select this search button and then again you press the search button and system will pull out all the users available for you in my case it is like e oracle labs oracle one oracle sys user this is all bit, and then we have web logic so i want to make the web logic as the owner of my human task flow so i select the web logic and then I go to the data tab. Here, basically, I am assigning my payload. This is a, my payload, and I am assigning the payload. Uh, let's take the example. Let's uh, up, uh, let's explore the value for the address one. So this is how I map my address one. Similarly, I, if you want to add another variable, just press the plus sign and says which variable you want to add. In my case, I want to do it for the string payload. So select the string payload and then I map my address to. So once this is done, so uh, go to the assignment tab and then double click on the stage one participant one. 
so the in the edit participant type again I'm not uh, def I, I have to define the few of the attributes and in this case I would just want to define the participants so I want to define who who else is the participant in this human task in my case uh, I am um, selecting the user web logic for the, as a participant uh, it is a it is a web logic user who will basically receive the notification from the human task flow and it will either approve or reject so once this is done so okay now my people is ready my human task is configured but it's, it's still not connected it's still not connected to the people uh, so I just uh, we just define the a lane here and now I have uh, my human task is completely configured so double click on the people process now since the process is already defined let me uh, explain it a little bit how I have uh, configured the human task in the people flow so I what I did was I drag a switch activity and then I said if the credit score is 450 greater than 450 simply assign the input to output and uh, that is customer is approved otherwise I want a human task flow to send a notification to a user web logic and then the web logic user will basically look into the customer history and it's uh, either approve or reject so uh, this is this is this is my flow this is how I configured my human task flow so this is my case when credit score is more than 450 and this is otherwise I call the human task flow since the flow is already ready to just uh, to, to demonstrate how we do this I basically add another switch case as of now I have a 2 450 and otherwise I will add another one and tell you how to how to call people uh, how to call human task flow from the people so let's take a step back if you look into that the name of this human task is human task EXM so okay so here we were so I'm adding a, another branch to this switch activity just to demonstrate how to do that so once you have a new switch condition in your people flow go to the component and then drag human task and just put it into this new case now double click and it will ask you which task flow you want to call here so here in the LOV I have only one which is human task EXM which we have configured earlier so then in this uh, human task we uh, we are basically configuring all the parameters which we have uh, assigned here let me take a step back all the parameter all the data parameter here okay so we are configuring all these data parameters here and telling the uh, people flow from where it receives the value for these parameters so this value is coming from the input so if you look into that I have configured the name from the customer name uh, which I'm selecting from the payload similarly I'm doing for the address one city comments and everything so once this is done Please look into that. Once a human task flow activity is ready, it will automatically add a switch activity in it. So we'll talk about this switch activity in a minute or so. Let's first explore the human task flow. So if you double click on the human task flow, you can see that it has a human task EXM assigned. It has an initiate task. It has a receive complete task let's explore one by one this is how uh, my uh, human task assign activity if you look into that here I have assigned all my payloads to the payload of the uh, human task flow similarly uh, okay these are how we are assigning similarly this is my initiate uh, in initiate human task activity and this is my receive component completed task activity so now this is the switch activity which we talk few seconds back this is this switch activity with the people has created this one 
So this is we already configured. So this is let's see look into this task switch activity which people had of which human task has added itself. So this switch activity has a three outcome reject, approve, or expired. So I, I'm not doing very complicated things. So if it is a reject or approve or otherwise. So in case of a reject, I'm just passing the input to output. In case of approve, I'm, pa I'm passing a message. Okay, this is approved. Otherwise, if you don't reject or approve after some time, I will terminate this activity. So now since we have, I have explained how to define this, I'm just uh, removing the human task activity, which I just add it for the sake of explanation so this is my uh, people flow and this is my just ordinary activity and this is my human task so save it and deploy it to your source server and let's log in and test it so this is a my simple test case here the credit rating is 890 that is more than 450 so the moment you save it this is the outcome so it was a credit rating was more than 50 we don't require human task flow and the customer was approved automatically let's try the other second another case now the credit rating is 450 that means it is uh, it should go for uh, it should go to the human task flow and send a notification to user whether and then user will approve or reject so let's see how it work now this is the outcome of the second case. So the people process has initiated a human task examine. So double click on this and this this is what you can see. So user is web logic and the notification process human task flow has already initiated and it has already sent a notification to the user named web logic for the approval or rejection. Go to the work list application by clicking here and then it will take to the BPM worklist login and here you can see the notification see the priority is 3 and assignee is a web logic uh, I, I, I have this is a default notification so that is the reason you are not able to see the various values name of the customer credits code and all go to the action and you have a uh, uh, various options available what you want in my case I just want to approve it once uh, I approve it it says your request has been processed successfully and if you come back here you can see the user is web logic and the outcome is approved so let's go to the flow and this is how it looks like so this is this clearly indicates that uh, we have a go to a switch activity and since the score was less than 450 we call the human task flow and notif send the notification to the user, user approve it and it close. Similarly, if we reject it, uh, it will come out uh, with outcome as a rejection. Like here it says uh, approve outcome. It, uh, if you reject, it will say reject. And if you don't do that, it will basically terminate the process. That's it uh, for the how to call a human task flow from the people process. Uh, if you require, if you have any question, just go to the, my blog and send me an email. My email address is there, listed there. Thank you very much.